Here in the McCookfield neighborhood of Dayton, Ohio, residents find themselves in the middle of what the US EPA calls one of the worst chemical contamination sites in the country. My name is Jerry Bowling III. I'm president of the McCookfield Neighborhood Association. Uh, this is my neighborhood. I've lived here for 40 seven out of my 50 years. Hello, my name is uh, Wayne Washington, and I'm here talking about the uh, uh, situation with the water with the uh, Bear Corporation. And the Bear Company is actually right across the street. <laughs> the Bear Corporation inherited the mess from what was a air temp plant owned by Chrysler. Uh, basically, TCE, trichloroethylene, it was used as a degreaser to clean parts. And how it got into the ground, I don't know but whether they dumped it directly, which I would hope they wouldn't have done that, or if it just was a spill or some sort of leak. The TCE plume has traveled under an entire neighborhood of 400 homes, many businesses, and two schools. The groundwater in this area is rather shallow. It's 14 to 20 feet. It would get into the groundwater, travel along the pathways of that groundwater, and then as it was underneath someone's homes, those vapors would migrate up through the ground and they would get trapped underneath the slab of the home and then the pressure would build up. If the slab had cracks or you know any type of openings, those vapors would creep into the homes and accumulate in someone's basement and I guess migrate into the other parts of the house. Chrysler is paid to install mitigation units in only some of the homes. It has refused to take responsibility in a large part of the neighborhood. I mean, the EPA should have made them put a pump on every house around here. It shouldn't have been the, the way that it is. It's like it's just spaced out. A pump here, a pump here, no pump here. A pump here, a pump here, no pump here. But you all is in the same area environment. According to the US EPA, TCE vapor has created an indoor health hazard at 251 addresses. TCE vapor has been measured in homes at levels up to 650 times the action level set by the government. That's the, the fan that causes, that creates the vacuum that brings the vapors out from the underneath the house out into the atmosphere. Before the system was installed, the ground, the test for the uh, underneath the house levels was 920 parts per uh, per billion by volume, which the levels should not exceed exceed over four parts per billion by volume. These mitigation systems are just temporary band-aids designed to create a preferential pathway for the vapors. They do nothing to solve the problem of TCE in the water and the ground beneath this neighborhood. One school in the neighborhood was closed after repeated efforts at mitigation failed to lower the TCE levels of the government standard. Because of the TCE vapor intrusion issue, the, this, the assessed value of people's homes has in a lot of cases went down more than 50%. It depends upon the homes. But they just really wonder, you know, is it worth investing in my home if in fact the value is 50% of what it was? A study completed by the Ohio Department of Health in August of 2008 found that the neighborhood had a higher than expected number of cancer cases associated with TCE exposure. I wasn't aware of too much of the health issues until within the past couple of years, especially since I developed some health issues. I don't know if it's exactly related yet, but I mean, it's... Um, kind of coincidental I never had these issues until develop until I've actually lived here. There was a gentleman that developed breast cancer a few houses down from me. We're not sure if it's due to this but it's he's never had issues and never had that problem before. He doesn't have a history in his family of breast cancer. TCE exposure has health effects beyond cancer. According to the Ohio Department of Health, it is associated with headaches, lung irritation, dizziness, coordination and concentration difficulties, skin rashes, nerve and immune system damage, and damage to fetal development. Many of these problems have been reported by residents of the neighborhood. The moment that it was tested and they found out we should have been warned right then and there, instead of being warned years down the line when, when they find out it's a bigger problem. Chrysler discovered the TCE leak in 1989 or 1990. As far as the neighbors, we didn't know anything about this until May of 2002. They came out to our neighborhood association and said that there was TCE in the groundwater, that our drinking water was safe, nothing to worry about. 
We didn't know anything about TCE vapors entering into our homes. We didn't know that until late 2006 and early 2007 when they started testing homes in this part of the neighborhood. You know, just because somebody tested your home eight months ago or a year ago, does that mean it's safe today? We don't know. It's a burden to people not, not knowing. That, that's a burden by itself, not knowing what conditions really is the water. Be Vocal is the organization that people in this neighborhood set up to make sure that the health of the community is protected and the site is cleaned up. The priorities of Be Vocal currently here in uh, early 2009 are to have retesting of our homes done uh, because we don't know how long it'll be before the groundwater is cleaned up. Uh, some people have never had their homes tested for whatever reason. We would like to have first time testing done for them. Uh, time changes if we don't have regular testing. We don't know if those tests are still good. Contaminated groundwater is moving through our neighborhood and higher levels of contaminated groundwater could be under someone's home now, whereas a year ago maybe that level of contamination wasn't there and the testing indicated that their home was safe, but now it may not be. We are now in the second half of 2009, almost 20 years since Chrysler found the TCE contamination on its property and three years since TCE contamination was found in neighborhood homes and the cleanup of this site has not yet begun. Now that Chrysler has filed bankruptcy, it appears that it will try to completely walk away from its responsibilities to this neighborhood. The Be Vocal Group needs your help to pressure Chrysler to do the right thing, and to pressure the US EPA to periodically retest all of the homes in the neighborhood to make sure that those homes are safe. To help or for more information, contact Be Vocal at the following addresses.